Paying a mortgage is difficult when you've lost your job. That's where employment insurance is supposed to come in. But many Canadians are finding the EI helpline isn't much help. Global News has found there's a backlog of calls. And as Vashi Capellos reports, critics blame government cuts. This one. Heather Lee and her husband are expecting a baby in June. They're picking out clothes, putting together a crib, and trying to figure out their finances. Oh, man. It hasn't it been like easy. Lee spent today. a week calling the EI helpline like to get help with her mat leave application, to no avail. Second day, I actually I called that, two or three times My again, like that, and then I was put on hold for 40 minutes. We tried to call the same line, and we had the same problem. Press two. This one. Heather Lee and her husband are expecting a baby in June. They're picking out clothes, putting together a crib, and trying to figure out their finances. Oh, man. It hasn't been easy. Lee spent a week calling the EI helpline to get help with her mat leave application, to no avail. Second day, I actually called two or three times again, and then I was put on hold for 40 minutes. We tried to call the same line, and we had the same problem. Press two. At the moment, our call volume is high. So to recap, we spent about 15 minutes going through a variety of automated options until we were given the option to actually talk to a human. But once that happened, we were told there was a high call volume, and then we were hung up on. The numbers back up our experience. While call volumes have been steady over the years, high call volume messages increased a lot, from 3.5 million of them in 2006 to 6.2 million in 2010 to nearly 12 million in 2012. Critics blame cuts to Service Canada. Since 2010, the budget for citizen-centred services has been cut by about 40%. People spend hours, literally hours on the phone. The Conservative MP in charge of this file admits he's heard from constituents. Scott Armstrong has launched a review into the issue, but says the solution isn't simple. It's very easy to say that, you know, this is due to budget cutbacks or some sort of government activity. The fact of the matter is we have two peak periods during the year where there's a lot of increased stress in the system. To combat that, there have been changes. More can be done online and extra staff are added during peak periods. But that didn't help Heather Lee. She ended up going into a Service Canada office in person. She finally got some answers, but was left questioning the system. You spend all this time paying into a system that you can't have access to, you know, when you need it the most. Bashi Capellos, Global News, Ottawa.